I said, you know what, we could actually do with somebody like Nigel Farage in our cabinet because he's clearly going to have a great link to the, to the President of the United States and that's going to be good for us, particularly now we're coming out of Europe. Would you accept a position if she offered well, it to you? I don't think that's... I mean, that's not going to happen. But if but she did? It, it's not going to happen. But if she did? But in practical Nigel, terms... you're a straight talking Hang on, hang on. Give in, me a straight answer. In practical terms, what they could say to me is, look, can you help us? You know, we're looking to build this relationship with the USA. It's a vital part. It's a big hand in our renegotiation with the European Union. Can you smooth the path? Can you help us? To which the answer is a big yes. Would you turn down a cabinet position if she offered it to you? I, Hypothetically. It, it, uh, yes, it, yes, I wouldn't. It wouldn't you happen. would turn it down? Yeah, I'm, I'm not in the Conservative Party. It can't happen. OK. What about the bet you had on Donald Trump yeah. as president? Yeah. Look, I, <laughs> look, look, I called this... I, I could see with Brexit... Whatever the polls said, whatever the experts said, there were people out there who normally don't vote, who said, yeah, this time it matters. And when I went to Mississippi and spoke on that platform with Trump, I went into the crowd afterwards, and so many people there had never voted in their lives. Did you have a financial stake? So I stake? saw the same dynamic on, on much, it. So I had a bet. I had a good bet. How much? I had a good bet. Come on. I had a good bet. A hundred, a thousand? I won a couple of bob. A couple of bob? Yep. You won, what, two grand? I want enough money to buy myself a couple of pints every day for the next year. How about <laughs> For the next year? Uh, yeah. OK, I won't keep that out. That's about... Uh, that's a lot. That's about three and a half grand. It, it was a good bet. <laughs> uh, Nigel, I mean, final question. As we go forward with President-elect Donald Trump mm. and you're in your sort of weirdly unique position, how much influence, given that you know him so well, how much influence do you think you can actually have on him in relation to our interests here? Well, that depends on my position. I mean, the press stories this morning that they would talk to me ahead of the British government, that's nonsense, obviously. That is nonsense. Uh, but well, I... Well, they met you ahead of I, the British government. Yeah, look, I... As I say, common sense says that I should be useful somehow to this country in getting that relationship with America back to where it should be. OK. We, we've had eight years of Obama who didn't like us. Trump likes this country.